<clears throat> dysphoria. My biggest dysphoria is my voice. Definitely my voice. Um, I can go out in public with a sports bra on instead of a binder. I prefer not to, but I can. I can deal with it. I can go out in public wearing women's pants, tight pants that show off my hips and my ass, and I can live with it. When I pick up the phone, or I'm standing at a cash register at work, and I start talking, I hate myself. Like, seriously. When I am in the car, and a song comes on the radio, and I try and start singing, yeah, I really hate myself. It's not a pleasant feeling. Um, like, the one thing out of everything that I want is my voice to drop. Um, uh, like, honestly, if somebody walked up to me and was like, here, here's a kit for fifty nine ninety nine that in 12 weeks will make you sound like a guy, I would buy it. And I don't buy anything except food, really. It's just the one thing I've always hated, like, even as a little kid, even before I knew I was trans, before I even realized what trans was, like, for my entire life, I've always wanted to be able to sound like a guy, to sing like a guy. Um, I'm actually going to get voice lessons after I start tea. Like, I want to be able to decently sound like a guy that bad. So, yeah, no, my biggest dysphoria is definitely my voice.